Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to create databases in MariaDB step by step how to guide. So the very first step is to install MariaDB on your operating system. We are using Ubuntu 22.04 and to install MariaDB in this Ubuntu, simply open up a terminal and the very first command that you're going to run inside the terminal is going to be sudo apt get update which is going to update all of the packages list for your Ubuntu installation. Now if you're running a different operating system, may it be Mac or Windows, then you can simply check out the link in the description box which is a blog post on how to create databases which tells you how to install MariaDB on Mac OS and on Windows. And the process for creating databases is the same for all of these three different operating systems. Now once the apt packages list has been updated, if you want to upgrade any packages then simply type in the command sudo apt get upgrade and then hit enter. But I'm not going to do that. So next up we are going to install MariaDB. Now the command to install MariaDB is sudo apt hyphen get install MariaDB hyphen server followed up by the hyphen y flag and then hit enter. So this is going to download and install MariaDB on your operating system. Now once the MariaDB has been installed, you can check the status of MariaDB by simply typing in the command sudo systemctl status and MariaDB and then hit enter. So you can see that our MariaDB is active and running. So now we can work around with MariaDB. So if you want to know the commands that I will be using to create database step by step and then simply click the link in the description box to come to this blog post. So the very first thing that we're going to do is head inside MySQL shell. Now to head inside MySQL shell or MariaDB shell, simply type in the command sudo space MySQL and then hit enter. So you would be inside MySQL shell. Now you can use this shell to create databases. So the very first command to create a database is as you can see is create database and then the name of the database that you want to create. So let's type that over here. So the keyword is create then database followed up by the database that I will want to create. Now I'm going to create a database named as test db all small letters and at the end simply put a semicolon and then hit enter. Now you can see that we get the output as query ok one row affected which means that we were able to successfully create a database. And now if you want to verify that you have successfully created your database simply type in the command show databases and then end it with a semicolon and then hit enter. So now we get that our test db has been successfully created. Suppose that you're going to create a database but you're not sure that if there is a database with the same name or not then you can use the keyword create or replace database and then follow it up with the name of the database that you want to create or replace. So what if I want to create a database name as logistics and then hit enter. The return is query ok wonder affected. Again if we do show databases, we now have this logistic database created as well. Now suppose that we are still not sure that if the database is already present then what we can do is that we can use the command drop all capital database and then the name of the database before creating it. So what this will do is that even though that database is created, it is going to drop that database. And once that is done, we can then go ahead with the normal command, which is create database followed by the name of the database that we want to create, which can be logistics and then a semicolon at the end and then hit enter. Now, another way of creating a database is by providing a check. Now, this is very easy. So we can simply type in the command create database and then type if space not space exist and then type in the name of the database that we want to create which can be logistics and then hit enter. So basically this is going to create a database only if it does not exist. So if we were to use the same command but change the name of the database which can be logistics2 and then hit enter you can see that since we already had the logistic database we got a warning that means that this command could not be executed because logistic database was already present. But the second time when we change the name of the database to logistics2 then we get the output as one row affected. This means that we were successfully able to create a database. So we can simply type in show databases, put a semicolon and then hit enter and now our logistics and logistics2 database has been created. Anyways. That was all about how to create databases in MariaDB step by step. Now if you want to learn how to set up MariaDB on cloud hosted platforms such as Azure, Google Cloud and Amazon then simply check out the videos on our channel or use the link in the description box. That also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And if this video has helped you in any way make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.